welcome friends to our uh, NPTEL MOOC module on health economics. As you know uh, that uh, this course is unique in the sense that you know healthcare is very um, essential. It requires you know strong uh, policy making. It requires attention in every field, especially uh, when we are counting its financing you know aspects. And we, as we have seen that uh, the you know healthcare spending is, is an important indicator of uh, you know decisions in household because of the fact that their spending you know percentage is very high or the private you know spending is very high. Whether it is the market who is going to deal with uh, the provisioning or it is the government. So whether market really fails in this context or not, etc. There are so many directions comes. But at this moment, um, we are not addressing all sort of things, we are only sticking to healthcare financing. And uh, this is uh, the one uh, where we are actually deriving uh, from our previous unit and that one that was on equity and health. Okay? And where we emphasize about uh, equity in health distribution and uh, you know equity in healthcare access as well. In this uh, lecture, we will be discussing on healthcare financing, laws of uh, health resource allocation and healthcare financing in India in particular with the reference to the latest important government document that is health uh, accounts also called national health accounts NHA 2019-20 uh, and uh, we will be also discussing on capital and current you know, health expenditure. So, uh, as a background to uh, this unit on um, unit number 5 on financing and insurance in healthcare, uh, our title is accordingly um, defined. Here is healthcare financing, uh, it is uh, the title we are carrying for this unit. So, what do you mean by healthcare financing? It is basically a system that a society uses to pay for healthcare services. Financing healthcare has evolved from you know personal payment at the time of service delivery to you know financing through health insurance prepayment by the employer or employee at the workplace. We have already discussed in other units even in healthcare systems unit as well. In the you know health financing uh, cases this involves not only uh, the methods of uh, raising money for healthcare but also allocation and use of those funds. In the subsequent slides of this uh, lecture, we will explore the generation, allocation and use of these bonds. We will also highlight how healthcare financing is made in India as well. So, emphasis will be on Indian context. Starting with uh, the healthcare financing, we will be certainly emphasizing on household where uh, the payments are actually made from their own pocket that is basically called out of pocket payments and hence you know they receive uh, treatment okay in ordinary market there are two stakeholders consumers and producers consumers are, are the users who you know hand over money in exchange for the service and whereas uh, the sellers or the producers who receive the money required uh, for their cost of providing those goods and services or healthcare providers so, and sometimes it involves the role of third party. It is not just uh, the household and the healthcare provider, there might be a third party. Third party um, is, is called um, you know, private insurance providers, government insurance providers, or social insurance funds. And how it works, it starts with uh, paying for healthcare from the household side in terms of user charges, private insurance premiums, uh, social health insurance and taxation to the third party and it is the responsible of the third party to provide health care to the you know households uh, through the health care providers. Uh, hence, you know uh, there, there are reimbursements. Okay? The involvement of a third party, uh, they are actually the financial intermediaries who serves the dual function of generating revenue and you know, reimbursing service providers. There are a principle uh, which is followed 
and in, in theory we are referring to Evans 1997 paper that is called revenue expenditure income identity principle which explain the flow of money in these three heads starting with revenue expenditure to income. The sum of the revenue generated from different you know, sources represents the total budget for possible expenditure. This expenditure will always end off as income to those you know provide the services. Now, revenue uh, how revenue is generated it is the through you know patients payments that is called PP, private insurance payment PI, taxation on health is health that is your TH and voluntary donation called VD. So, expenditure is equal to the unit of cost times the quantities of the healthcare commodity, whereas income is the hours of labor times the wage rate paid to the uh, laborer. Hence, uh, these three are presented here. This is the one, this is the second one that is expenditure and this is the third one called income. So, and this is highlighted here to just clarify that this identity are required in the financing structure. Any change in one variable lead to the change in at least you know one another parameter. It can be either offset or balance by a change in other parameters on the same side of the identity. So, uh, um, that the change uh, may be you know um, uh, change is uh, mentioned as may be you know um, equalized with its uh, mode value. Um, uh, the change in TH might be negative, but equalized with um, you know the change in you know the PP that is called uh, patients payments or the change will lead to the you know same size you know total change on each of the other two sides. That that is basically when the TH you know falls the quantity uh, of these um, commodities you know will fall and uh, you know the hours of labor requirement will also reduce. Hence, there will be some adjustment. Therefore, we said it is called revenue expenditure income identity in the financing structure for healthcare. Once again, we are just clarifying starting with out of all citizens, there are certain percentage of patients who require help from the health providers. Okay and there are uh, voluntary donations ac accordingly and uh, or the patient payments. Hence, they receive you know commodities as uh, we have already uh, mentioned as uh, sum of CIs times their you know quantities and they also receive income in terms of you know labor, uh, labor and their per unit wage rate. So, these three uh, first we say their they are expenditure then they are um, these three identity revenues, expenditures and income we have explained. Now, again through the third party it is uh, channelized through their taxes, taxes on health, then private insurance and there are reimbursement to the healthcare providers. This is you know explained for your clarity and um, we will be further clarifying each of the directions. So, health resource generation as I already mentioned total revenue is uh, through you know patient payments, private insurance, uh, taxation on health plus voluntary donations. The distinguishing characteristics of uh, four sources of revenues deal with whether payments are made ex ante like you know prior payments are required before sickness such as you know premium payments etc. through the third party or expose even uh, that is at the time of service or just after the sickness from the patients. So, the payments are either ex ante and ex post whether paid you know, fully on an individual basis depending on the individual's healthcare use or with any element of cross subsidization. Either the individual is fully paid or there are some redistributional channel through cross subsidization we will discuss all these things here. Uh, so, uh, here are the uh, you know uh, characteristics of these uh, channels and the relationship of financing. So, as I already mentioned through X and T exposed or uh, no cross substation or cross substation we will clarify one by one. In case of cross substation the rich or the healthy subsidize for the poor okay, or the for, for the sick 
Hence, this has a linkage with redistribution of income. Why do people pay ex ante rather than ex post? To avoid, of course, the answer is to avoid risk. <coughs> I will clarify all sort of things. The distinction between ex ante and ex post deals with the extent of people's preferences for health insurance. And uh, risk aversion is, is the key where uh, ex ante you know, payments are made as premiums, while distinction on vertical axis deals with uh, the extent of people's willingness to you know, cross subsidize. Okay. And, uh, they, uh, and they are fellow citizens use of healthcare through redistribution, whereas the hor horizontal is actually emphasizing on the ex ante and ex post principles of financing. Now, we are addressing health resource allocation. Due to limited uh, availability of resources, fund allocation has huge you know, competition in any health system. Decision of allocation effects, what services are provided and which services to, uh, to be you know, given you know, priorities, etc. Are, are important. Uh, economic consequences of uh, you know, decision made in resource allocation are major determinants of healthcare economics. Balanced resource allocation for all the subsectors of health system is required to ensure regional and uh, you know, socio-economic equity. Now, we are presenting some of the principles and the laws of health resource allocation starting with uh, you know uh, Sutton's law uh, this this is taken from you can just um, have a uh, recheck we have cited the source economics of health publication uh, new public health uh, in 2014 and the page number is also cited uh, first Sutton's law this discusses about the priorities, you know, how priorities can address the resource allocation efficiently. Uh, based on a statement uh, by notorious, you know, American bank robber uh, is uh, Willie, you know, Sutton. When the reporter uh, Mitch Unstad, uh, you know, asked Sutton why he stole from bank directly, Sutton answered that, you know, because, uh, you know, I uh, they, uh, they did it because you know that is where the money is you know largely confined and one's first choice would be to choose the most obvious route of extracting money. And similarly in healthcare, wherever the need is the most uh, 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 so uh, emphasis should have been given. Taught to you know medical student as a metaphor for emphasizing most likely diagnosis, rather than you know wasting time and money investing every you know conceivable possibilities. That is all about called Sutton's law. Second one is uh, Capon's uh, Capon's law. This is uh, based on um, uh, statement by Capon, a well-known again gangster, while dividing uh, you know the area of Chicago among the colleagues like you know they usually gangster divide their areas you know this is their zone this is their zone there should not be any conflicts of service. Similarly, healthcare also it is applied um, uh, in health context planning should be actually made accordingly not necessarily you know it is uh, the single uh, planning model that will address all the you know providers and all the you know choice functions hence planning may reflect the providers interest instead of uh, public interest so far as Kaplan's law is concerned which is actually creating problem. So, uh, uh, so, so Kaplan's law uh, mentioned that you know the area wise division uh, of allocation of the resources is very important. Another is called uh, Romer's you know, law that is on hospital beds once built and insured will be filled. This is to some extent explained through supply side creates its own demand kind. As the supply of you know, hospital beds increases, the use of hospital services also increases. 
excess hospital beds leads to an over utilization of hospital services when the observed demand outplaces the population's actual need for services. Incentive to control both hospital bed supply and uh, utilization are important in health planning in industrialized countries. Next one is called Bonkers law like you know more surgeons and more surgery etc. A greater supply of surgeons generates more surgery. Manage care and uh, you know gatekeepers functions limit referral to specialist. Professional uh, organizations and governments uh, limit training positions and licensing for such uh, specialization, specialized services are required. Now we are taking count of the uh, national health accounts as the latest uh, evidences uh, to give you the you know, understanding related to uh, health financing. Health accounts, what is this? Health expend this actually accounts for health expenditure and flow of funds in the country's health system over a financial year of a country. It focuses on what are the sources of health expenditure, healthcare expenditure and who manages these, who provides healthcare services and which services are indeed utilized. Health expenditure estimates are prepared according to global standard framework that is basically called system of health accounts SHA in uh, 2011 uh, or 2011 uh, period. Uh, our health uh, you know accounts are actually maintained as per the SHA. So, hence uh, India's health record actually comparable across the globe. System of health accounts that is basically an international accounting framework for systematically tracking health spending. SHA 2011 establishes an integrated and comprehensive methodology for tracking health expenditure through a set of uniform accounts comparable across countries. Uh, it has uh, you know a coverage on final consumption, it tracks you know resource flows through the health system from their sources, patterns of provision including providers and factors of provision uh, through uh, to its use, healthcare you know function, disease program etc. So, there are uh, uh, regarding uh, total health expenditure, there are different disaggregated units such as you know current and capital expenditure, we will be emphasizing one by one. Coming to current health expenditure in, in short called CHE is presented as uh, it includes revenue of uh, healthcare financing schemes, then healthcare financing schemes, then healthcare providers, then healthcare functions. Uh, like you know when we include you know, revenue of healthcare uh, financing schemes these entitles that provide uh, this provides you know resource to spend for health goods and services in the health system. Whereas healthcare financing schemes entities are receiving you know and managing funds from financing sources to pay for or to purchase health goods and services. And regarding healthcare providers these entities receiving you know um, finances to provide uh, or to produce uh, health goods and services. Healthcare functions describe the use of funds across various healthcare services. On the other hand capital expenditures uh, you know covers the expenditure for capital uh, generation such as new infrastructure, training of doctors etc. But current expenditure uh, really matters in case of matters much to uh, deal with the everyday challenges. Now we are further clarifying with uh, the facts and figures regarding total health expenditure. We have mentioned that it is of two parts current and uh, capital uh, health expenditure. So coming to capital health expenditure, this is indeed uh, called as uh, you know capital health expenditure because it deals with level of uh, capital investment in health, uh, cap capital health investment include um, health infrastructure such as uh, buildings, machineries, technology, IT, stocks of vaccines for emergency and outbreaks. Whereas in case of uh, current health expenditure, this has estimates of uh, you know current health expenditure such as uh, healthcare goods and services consumed during each year. This indicator does not include capital health expenditure such as building machinery etc. So, here are uh, the key uh, health financing indicators which needs you know which need uh, emphasis, uh, emphasization 
uh, or or we will emphasize uh, like you know total health expenditure which I already mentioned uh, and but it, is, it should not be just its absolute amount that is that is important it has to be taken as a percent of GDP and in per capita terms current health expenditure as a percent of the total health expenditure government health expenditure as a percent of total health expenditure out of pocket expenditure OOPE as a percent of total health expenditure social security expenditure on health as percentage of total health expenditure private health insurance expenditure as a percentage of THE the external or the donor funding for the health as a percent of THE and the government health expenditure or the GHE as a percent of general government uh, expenditure GGE household health expenditure as a percent of total health expenditure union or state government you know, allocation of health or health expenditure as a percent of uh, GHE that is you know government health expenditure uh, recently uh, IUC uh, ministry uh, has been emphasized and its allocation as a percent of uh, total health expenditure pharmaceutical expenditure and out of the you know CHE or the current health expenditure. So, as mentioned these are the important indicator of uh, the national health uh, accounts of 2019-20 of India and I re-emphasize again that these all are really interesting if you are uh, you know extending your work in, in your research in healthcare especially those who are working on efficiency analysis, efficiency or productivity analysis these indicators are the most we have also discussed in our chapter in unit number you know uh, uh, 10 you can also recheck these are our uh, you know some of the you know inputs in, in health efficiency and uh, these are going to be useful for writing articles, research articles and even in consultancy services and their analysis. So, now health financing in India uh, and its records from the national health accounts 2019 figure are explained in our uh, slides and here you just read between the line and its figures you can see very clearly that you know the current health expenditure carrying more than 90 percent of the CR okay as of the capital health expenditure and uh, out of the total health expenditure CR and uh, these are uh, the different years where as per the NHA record national health accounts record starting from 2013 till 2019-20 figures are here. Um, there are different key indicators which you have already emphasized uh, as like you know total THE as percent of GDP, THE um, per capita at uh, current prices etc. Uh, there are which one uh, has been declining which is increasing which is indeed current health expenditure is actually you know uh, declining government health expenditure is rising out of pocket expenditure is also declining which is indeed good as per the latest um, figure of NHA it is only you know 47.1 percent uh, and this is OOP as a percent of total health expenditure total health expenditure as percent of GDP declined share of current uh, uh, health expenditure decline means more capital expenditure is, 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 is there and uh, uh, OOP decline but still uh, it has it is a sizable percentage. Who contributes to you know uh, current health expenditures in India? Uh, uh, like you know you can just have a check the most important contributor to the current or uh, the running expenditure uh, for healthcare is through the households. Household carries uh, and households carry a, you know around 60 percent of the total share of the current health expenditure uh, it is the exact figure is 59.25 percent. Uh, and out of 59.25 percent paid by household 52 percent uh, is out of pocket expenditure okay that is another interesting aspect uh, which is still very high and to should be reduced. Now what services are consumed from current health expenditure in India now you can just have a uh, see uh, inpatient uh, curative care 
आउट पर्सन क्यूरेटिव केयर एंड डे क्यूरेटिव केयर दैट्स दिस थ्री इंडिकेटर कवरिंग यू नो मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द सर्विसेज फ्रॉम द करेंट हेल्थ एक्सपेंडिचर ना कमिंग टू द अगेन करेंट हेल्थ एक्सपेंडिचर हु प्रोवाइड हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज फ्रॉम करेंट हेल्थ एक्सपेंडिचर यू कैन जस्ट सी द शेयर इज यू नो हियर मैंशन एंड देर आर परसेंटेजेज यू कैन जस्ट अ चेक प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल्स दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग परसेंटेज इज हायर फॉलोड बाय द फार्मीज एंड 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 द गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल्स एंड सो ऑन हु कंट्रीब्यूट्स नाउ वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कैपिटल हेल्थ एक्सपेंडिचर हु कंट्रीब्यूट्स टू कैपिटल हेल्थ एक्सपेंडिचर द मोस्ट यू कैन जस्ट है चेक इट इज द यूनियन इट इज दू नो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एज वी नो दैट हेल्थ इज इन कॉन्करेंटली स्टेट गवर्नमेंट शेयर इज हाइस्ट followed by the union government uh, gross fixed you know capital formation in the health uh, system is measured by the total value of the you know fixed assets that health providers have acquired during the accounting period and that are used repeatedly for more than one year in the production of health services so you can also use gross fixed capital formation as an indicator in your analysis For your research paper, impoverishing and effect of healthcare payments in developing countries like India and underdeveloped countries, where most of the you know population live below or just above the poverty line, they face the risk of being pushed into the trap of poverty, uh, as of high health care spending. This phenomenon is also known as impoverishment effect. now you can just have a check some of the figures we have uh, taken uh, from one article of uh, epw economic and political weekly published in 2010 we are just citing this these authors who have um, uh, calculated the impoverishment uh, effect you can see uh, you know the impoverishment effect is uh, by by in patient care and the out patient care is different in in kerala especially outpatient care is considered to be high and why is it so it is due to the fact that the healthcare provisioning is also much higher in kerala whereas uh, you know it is uh, quite low in um, some of the other states like you know even in state of odisha even in madhya pradesh all right so it, it depends on um, how people are actually utilizing from their own pocket and uh, hence you know they are at the prey of paying higher amount and their their resources are allocated largely on uh, health care which is to be addressed by policy you can just have a see, uh, check um, we have highlighted on the national average is here and uh, there are states which have exceeded the national average here we need to cite one second kerala shows highest effect That which I just said may be due to low levels of household consumption, combined with higher education and propensity to use healthcare. Madhya Pradesh uh, shows low rate uh, of uh, health-related impoverishment. That is uh, maybe due to high level of uh, you know the base of poverty and low education and lower access of health. Outpatient services account for larger share of financial burden. Uh, then in patient so these are some of the directions for all of you to you know work for your own research will be useful hence it has um, connection with poverty there is an association between out of pocket you know health expenditure and poverty op uh, will you know uh, raise financial uh, you know hardship health expenses by versus you know other necessities or the challenges poised with the you know family and there will be catastrophic effect you might see that 40% of the expenditure might exceed uh, they are you know out of the total you know non health uh, consumption goods there are different uh, catastrophic expenditure you know articles you can refer okay and uh, in india as per the nsa figures nsa 2019 figure op as a percentage of total health expenditure is 47.1% whereas out of the you know current health expenditure is of 52% which is still much higher than many countries in the world in another article of sirag and nor studied their data study from the data of 145 countries 
between the year 2000 to 2017 found that if OOP exceeds the threshold of 29 percent, uh, this leads to you know increased poverty in the households. This kind of work are uh, relevant for further research. Now, we have already uh, discussed financing and you know, funding Indian healthcare uh, even earlier um, ch chapters in our uh, other chapters. Uh, we, we discussed about uh, health systems and we cited about uh, Bismarck and beverage you know, model. Uh, India is a microsome to um, all the healthcare system in the world as per the PwC report. This is even from the PwC report. And where you can see number of uh, indicators uh, related to payer, financing, provider, government's role, price controls, and even there are different examples. Why you know which uh, country follow which kind of model? If you are uh, facing uh, some difficulties in understanding the clarification of each of these, you need to follow our health system chapter. Okay, we 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 discuss this in. A chapter, a chapter number 7 or unit number 7 that is on economics of health systems. Um, healthcare models will be uh, covered uh, uh, as I already said since this is our uh, uh, unit on uh, 5. So, we, we are going to cover this in the uh, economics of health system in unit number 7. Okay, so, it is largely covered. Uh, rest uh, if you have any difficulties do uh, reach us and uh, our team will be very happy to address each of the uh, directions. The most important readings for you is here the NHA which I have already said for all facts and figures for Indian context NHA uh, national health system uh, health uh, accountability or accounts uh, national health accounts is very important. So, uh, uh, this will give you all the estimates related to the Indian health systems uh, and its estimates. Ulsen uh, uh, Abel paper uh, book published by Oxford University Press on principles in health economics and policy is also important. So, these are all I think in the next lecture we will uh, continue uh, the health financing structure and we will also explore the concept of uncertainty and health insurance in detail. Hence, it is going to be very useful. I suggest you to get the best out of it. Thank you.